I have a guest in the studio with us uh, who contacted me the other day about a, a book signing that's taking place right here in Twin Falls. I believe it's next Tuesday, which is the 29th. I'm, I'm trying to do a little counting here because the 30th is payday at KLIX, so I think that's Wednesday. I, I, you know, and, and when you think in those terms, that tells you a little bit about how most of us live our lives. Uh, but first of all, we'd like to welcome Stephanie, and it's Clark, right? Yes, it is. She is joining us in studio. She has written a book. She'll be telling us about that in just a minute or so. Bill Colley with you as well on Top Story on News Radio 1310 KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. And, and we talked yesterday on the telephone, and you mentioned it's a Christian themed book. Uh, not many people are writing those anymore. <laughs> well, I don't know if they are or not, but I just wanted to go ahead and give it a try. And you've written a book for children, essentially, right? It is. It, it's a children's illustrated book entitled Here's the Church, Here's the Steeple. Open the door. And, and look. see all the people. <laughs> <laughs> My that's mother right. taught me that when I was little. That's right. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that because that's exactly how the book began for me. When I was a small child, my parents and grandparents taught me the very same thing. And I was always wondering, well, what happens to the people inside the church? You know? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's kind of how I ended up <laughs> writing the book. Even my kindergarten teacher taught us that, which tells you how much things have changed in public schools. Uh, but uh, for people who, who would like to actually get a copy of the book, you're, you're doing an appearance at Chick-fil-A, right? That's correct. Um, it'll be launching September 29th. Tuesday. I got that right. At Yes, you did. Um, at Chick-fil-A here in Twin Falls from 5.30 to 6.30. And we'll be having the uh, wonderful people with the Twin Falls Public Library there with the bookmobile. And I'll be giving them several copies of the book for the kids to check out. Um, I'll also be there reading and signing. We'll have balloons, um, just a lot of fun things going on. So it'll be a great night if you're in the mood for chicken that evening. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken's always great. I used to live in a part of the country just surrounded by chicken processing plants. And I told a fellow who worked there that I love chicken. He said, you came to the right place. <laughs> uh, but but we should we should point out, uh, this book is also going to be available at some of the major booksellers, too. That's correct. It will be available online at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and you can also get it at Tate Publishing. So um, they're going to be putting together a website for me as well, if you're interested in in keeping track of, of what's happening with the book. Um, and that website is here's the church dot com. When you sat down to write the book, I mean, essentially, mm -hmm. maybe you can give us a quick synopsis of the story. Okay. Without giving it away, obviously. You want right. people to buy a copy. Right, right, right. It's very simple. And, and um, you know, basically, I just wanted to convey... The, uh, the idea that, you know, going to church with your family has a lot of benefits to it. And just want to continue encouraging those who are already going to continue and perhaps, you know, give this to friends and family who've maybe lost interest in, in attending a place of worship. And this is generally a Christian book, but, you know, it's open, it's, it's non-denominational, and I wrote it with the intent that everyone would enjoy it. So... Um, so yeah, I think the illustrations have ended up really cute, um, but you know it's a timely it's a timely book as well because I think we need that that encouragement. We want to point out nine twenty six uh, fifty six right now on our way to ninety two this afternoon. Uh, Stephanie Clark is our guest, and of course she's written a book. She's filling us in about some of the details on that. Bill Colley with you as well on News Radio thirteen ten KLIX and News Radio thirteen ten dot com. We talked both about our childhood and, and you know learning some of these these things early on. And you think about that, even, even someone teaching you something as simple as that with their hands, mm -hmm. um, and, and it, it stays with you and it has a profound impact. If you're three, four years old and you hear that, it never goes away. And even though it's, it's not biblical and it, it, there's no real serious lessons in it in the sense of more moral lessons, it, 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 it tells you that, well, it's not abnormal to go to church, I guess. That's right. And, um, you know, it does stick with you. And it's surprising to me how many people have heard that. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Let's open the doors and see all the people. And, um, yeah, I think from one generation to the next, it really does convey, in those simple, small words, a very important message that um, church attendance has great benefits and blessings to your family. And, um, and, and sometimes... Um, those, those important little messages get lost in our busy lives. And um, and so I think it does have a, a valuable lesson and principle to it. 
I hope you write another book because I know that when my daughter was little, sometimes it was difficult to convince her to go. And <laughs> I, there were a couple of times I literally opened the back door of the car, picked her up and threw her over my shoulder and carried her in. Once she was there, she was usually fine. Uh, but I remember her telling me one day about her objections. I, I said, all right, you know, explain to me why you don't want to go. And she said, because, Dad, it's the same thing every week. Uh, of course it was. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like a TV show where you get a new episode. Right. It, it's pretty much, uh, well, If at her age, she probably wasn't listening. You know, when you're listening to like a sermon or a homily, that is different every week. But the routine that we have, which is part of it, the tradition that's passed down, Sometimes difficult, I think, for the for the children, but you still have to set the example for them, uh, because if you don't take them, they're likely not to take their children. Right, and then you know you think about how busy our lives are. We're we're so plugged in technologically with everything, and um, when does the family get together, get dressed, go to church, turn off the cell phone, and kind of immerse ourselves in some higher thoughts, and um, and you can kind of take that time each Sunday to just sort of reassess your life and um, perhaps hear something from the scriptures that just in, you know enlightens your mind and helps you throughout your week. And, uh, I have to say important. that I really admire those people. I see it in some of the earlier services who have large families, and you realize they got all of those children together and they got them out the door. Uh, when I was a substitute school teacher just out of college, I was handling a first-grade class and I learned very quickly when you've got a large group, it's like hurting cats. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, 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 so I appreciate what they're doing, but it tells me that they set that routine early on. And after a while, the children adjusted to it. Yes. want to thank you very much. Very quickly, again, you're going mm-hmm. to be at Chick-fil-A. That's on Blue Licks Boulevard. That's correct. And um, if you can't make it Tuesday night, I do have two other book signings um, that will be happening in October. Um, Saturday, October, October 10th from 1 to 3 in the afternoon, I'll be at Hastings. And um, also Saturday, October 17th from 1 to 3 at Kona Coffee and Cakes All on right. Madison. We wish you good luck. Well, thank you so much. It's great and, to be uh, with you. And, you know, we'll say our prayers that it's a bestseller, too. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> All right. We have a break coming up. Uh, fine messages from some fine sponsors on the way. Bill Colley with you as well. On Top Story on News Radio 1310 KLIX, com. We want to thank Stephanie Clark for dropping by this morning. We've got plenty more ahead. In fact, one more half hour if you can stand it.